Here's my 69 BMW 2002 with the uh, engine running. You can see how the engine is pushed way behind the rear axle and halfway in the cabin. It runs good. Side pipes. Side pipes still have the oxygen sensors. Steering. It's a new, new steering wheel. It uh, sounds great. It's got low beams, hot, high beams, stir signals, uh, the wheel tilts. It's a pretty nice. So we have a cold air intake, we got a uh, tubular chassis, got the front coilovers with a S2 Mustang front suspension, we got new upper and lower radiator hoses, um, we got an electrical fan with a sensor so it automatically kicks in. Um, other than that, uh, the motor is pretty stock, um, it's got a 5 speed transmission, got a new brake booster. Fancy hood prop. And uh, this is the body. Uh, you either love it or hate it. It's as simple as that. It's a Cobra chassis and we got a 2002 body on top. Uh, as far as the wheels go, these are real BBS's. Uh, brand new tires in the front. I also have the pairs for the rear, but they are not as wide as the center line here, uh, which has uh, uh, new tires on it. And with this one, I don't have to. I don't have to run a, a spacer. Um, well, obviously, it has a, a Ford bolt offset. Therefore, any Ford wheel will fit. Uh, I had I had the car painted. It was a pretty long process. They had to smoothen out the body and the glass work on it. Probably took took them a good three months. Uh, it's a two-tone paint job. It's a high-quality paint job. I've chosen uh, olive green on the bottom and and Sicilian olive on the top, which is is brown. Um, did a bumper delete. I still have the bumper, I don't think it looks that good. Um, I bought a pretty cool 5.0 badge and uh, I did my own little uh, 2802 uh, badge at the back where the 8 stands for 8 cylinders. Um, that's about it. As far as the body, it's clean, it has no rust. 
paint is nice. I installed two CB Oscar Plus uh, driving lights in the front. Also a custom um, light bar that mounts uh, where the bumper used to be. Got new uh, Silvani halogen headlights. Uh, this badge is old, however, I ordered a couple of brand new ones. Let's see what else. I have a Talbot vintage mirror that I refurbished. Now it's it looks excellent. Uh, it's got new rubber. It's got smoke tail lights, and obviously it's registered. Street legal in California. And uh, this is the trunk. It's not really a trunk. Uh, it's quite exposed. Here's the rear end and the suspension. Uh, here's the gas tank. That's where you fill it. Uh, battery relocated in the back. It's also it's a new battery. Uh, that's pretty much it. You got new, new rubber, rubber, rubber seal. As far as the interior, well, we already saw that side. So I have sort of like a cardboard orange or orange door cards and uh, it's a fabricated dashboard. Just, yeah, stick shift. Got a pretty nice set of uh, 70s Recaro here. They're mint condition, leather. Uh, obviously, there are. There's no bags. I just have carpet. Um, there is no headliner. My further plan is to put at least a roll bar in it, or whoever is going to get it. If they do want to get a roll bar, obviously uh, the headliner would be in the way uh, when you're welding. So that's that's uh, the only. Uh, detail that I guess I still have to work out whether I'm gonna put a headliner or not. Close, close. Press it a little harder because it has new rubber seals. Yeah, that's about it. It runs and dries really, really good. It does handle like a mid engine car. And the 5.0 gives uh, quite a lot of power, more than uh, you would probably need. I guess uh, let's uh, take a look at the quality of the paint, I guess. Nice all around. Yes, that'll do it.